Hey guys, Brian the Shaving Geek here with another episode of my shave of the day. And uh, first of all, <clears throat> this is probably my last um, video for this year. Um, getting ready to do some traveling and uh, not taking a lot of um, uh, gear with me. In that uh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm taking a razor, I'm taking uh, a sample size um brush or uh, sample size uh, soap and aftershave and uh, and so probably won't be doing any videos I'm just gonna enjoy my shaves and uh, enjoy some time with my family so all of that to say happy new year and uh, I will most likely see you next year today had a wonderful shave uh, taking a few days off of work so kind of been taking it easy slept in um, you know didn't get a shower or a shave until about midday and um, so I uh, had the opportunity to use a new soap and um, so let me tell you about the gear that I used. Where is it? All right. First of all, uh, brush, um, Creek Road Pottery Handle, Anthony McKenzie, game changer or not, you know I love it. Enough said. For my razor today, I actually have the uh, Blackhawk back in the den after... Um, some time away uh, my buddy Jeremy borrowed this for for a few weeks and it's actually been back probably about a week since he um gave it back to me maybe even a little longer just haven't had the opportunity or haven't taken the opportunity to use it again till today and actually I was planning on using my shavette and I got part way through pass two and I realized oops I was going to use my uh, crown king shavette today and um, and I didn't so uh, when I get back from um, my visit the family I'll probably break the shave head out again and uh, use that but this is the um, the uh, razor I use today one of the things um, that I am finding with this is that it is a bit tricky to uh, take the blade out of this and what I do between every shave and I know not everybody does but I like to uh, take all of my razors apart take the razor blades out and uh, rinse everything down really really well and uh, pat it dry um, and then assemble it. I, I keep my blades in my razors all the time. So I uh, assemble them, dried, um, and uh, I'm finding that this is a bit tricky to unload. I uh, haven't really gotten the technique down as far as taking the blade out. So if you have any tips or tricks on uh, getting that blade out, um, I would appreciate it because I am just finding it a little bit tricky. But uh, overall, really like this razor. I figured out how much pressure to apply which is none and um, it just really shaves well so for my soap today new soap uh, you saw it a few weeks ago I guess it was that I got it in or maybe it was last week and I really really love the scent on this and that is defiance from uh, dr. John's soap works now before I get into this soap let me tell you or talk to you a little bit about the container because in my last shave I expressed my dissatisfaction shall we say with tins I just do not like tins um, and the reason why I don't like tins is because if you drop them they have a tendency to get mangled like that and also um, this is a brand new tub of, of Dr. John stuff now it's an older older tub but um, if you can see right along the edge there it started to uh, it started to rust and uh, and I just don't like that. Now, is it going to affect the product that's inside? No, not not at all. Um, and uh, but I just don't don't care for that. Uh, in Dr. John's defense, um, they have changed containers, and this is a screw-on type, so maybe this won't be as susceptible to rust. And I said all of that to say this: is that Dr. John's soaps uh, reached out to me, and they expressed to me that their reason for putting it in tins is an environmental uh, reason and they just feel like it's more environmentally friendly to use uh, the, the tins than the plastic and I can respect that um, don't necessarily like it <laughs> but I can respect it and um, you know at the end of the day it's what's inside it that matters you know the, 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 the tin itself you know get, getting a little banged up does that affect the way that this this soap here works? No, not at all. Um, uh, you know, is, is a little bit of uh, rust on the outside of this going to affect the the uh, quality of this? No, not not at all. Um, so, you know, but 
again, still being real, keeping it real, my preference is still the plastic. Am I going to stop buying Dr. John's? Heck no. Great stuff. Love it. Uh, and this was no different. Really, really enjoyed the scent on this. Whew. Oh, it's good stuff. Um, it's kind of got this spicy uh, scent to it. Definitely this manly, um, manly scent. Um, and really, whew, really, really like it. Um, this volume two is just good stuff. It feels so awesome on the face. Um, just real thick and creamy and uh, it's just it's phenomenal stuff so Dr. John's knocking it out of the park um, one other thing still if you're gonna stay with the tins let's figure out a way to put a label on the side just for me all right um, no but uh, not great stuff really really like it and um, one of the other things that I, I want to give props to Dr. John's uh, about is that you can buy and, and I know a couple other artisans are starting to do this um, Katie's Bubbles is doing it now. I'm trying to think who else. Maybe K Shave Works. I, I'm not, I don't remember who all, but I know Dr. John's has, has been doing it and may have been at the forefront of doing this. But don't hold me to that. But that's the fact that you can buy their soaps in the two ounce or the four ounce tins. And honestly, I, I bought the the, um, the the propaganda in the four ounce tin. But if I could have, I would have bought it in the two ounce tin. Um, just because I, that way I can get more variety in my den, um, at, at obviously a lesser cost and it's going to take me years and years and years and years and years and years and I may die before I ever get through all of this stuff. So at least putting it out in a two ounce tin does provide, um, those of us with a little bit of a uh, sad, um, the, uh, what do you want to say? Um, the option. <laughs> <laughs> to satisfy our desires with something that we at least can fool ourselves into thinking that we'll actually get to the bottom of. So anyhow, great stuff um, and props to Dr. Johns. And thank you for reaching out to me and explaining why you why you uh, put it in, in, in the tins. Totally get it. Um, and, uh, you know, and I can I can totally respect that uh, for my um, for my uh, aftershave today. Fine. Fresh vetiver. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the perfect pairing with Defiance, but I love this stuff. And, um, yeah. Whew. Fine is just good stuff. I should check out Fine Soaps, but, man. You know, I, I, I saw that um, the uh, Italian Citrus is back in stock now after having been out of stock for several years, I believe. And uh, it, I just had to grab myself by the nap of the neck and say, Brian, you don't need any more stuff. Um, I, I just got to slow my roll. Uh, you know, in fact, I didn't really realize how much I'd gotten back into, you know, a little bit of, uh, acquisition disorder until I, um, went over to my brother's house on Christmas day and, uh, I gathered up all of the stuff that I thought that uh, maybe he hadn't had an opportunity to smell because I, he hasn't been over to my house since I, um, sometime in the summer. Um, and so since September, when I went to that meetup, uh, it's really where I started acquiring more gear. And so I pulled together everything that I've acquired since then, and it was a box full of stuff. And, uh, I thought, man, okay, Brian, you gotta, gotta slow your roll here a little bit. So I'm going to do my best going into the new year. I'm going to get back on a buying freeze and just enjoy what I have in my den because I've got so much awesomeness and uh, my goal this year is to titanic several tubs of stuff which means I'm gonna have to shave more diligently because um, every you know I have a tendency to kind of be an every other day kind of shaver I, I probably should shave every day I can get away with going every other day and uh, so I'm gonna really do my best to titanic some tubs of soap this year maybe even finish off an aftershave or two we will see but until next year Brian the Shaving Geek reporting live from my shave den wishing you a lifetime of happy shaves and happy new year if I don't talk to you. Bye everybody.